Welcome. And the question today from M0 Key News is, what looks significantly scarier at 3 a.m.? Hi, this is Derek. I just put the drama llama, Fred, back in his llama pen, so that I can do this quick video for you with some of the stuff that Fred found on Reddit earlier today. Oh boy, let's get ready for some drama. Dumbass Junior Answer At a sleepover in 8th grade, a group of us usually took turns having them at different people's houses, this time was at one girl's house I had never been to. Sometime in the early morning hours I went to get my charger, when I came back down my eyes took a minute to adjust to the dark. I saw someone standing over by the window, but they were inside, and they were tall. We were small 8th graders and this thing was like 6 feet so it couldn't have been one of them. This figure was standing dead still, and panic slash adrenaline kicked in super quick. I managed to fumble down the wall to hit the light and realized it was a life-size cardboard cut out of one of the Vampire Diaries dudes. I almost shit my pants. Peppered Citrus followed up with had a roommate in college that borrowed her little sister's life-size cut out of Bieber for a week. I don't think I was ever scared more times in one week. LOL. To which Kippa Baker then said. So the bar I used to work at was sister bar to a German place around the corner. It was a three-story building, and the third story had the employee bathroom, with a shower for some reason. The lights in the stairwell never worked, so you had to be in the tiny bathroom to turn on the light. Someone put the David Hasselhoff cutout from our sister bar in the shower stall. Flipping on the light at 3 a.m., drunk after working slash then partying with co-workers, and coming face to face with Baywatch David Hasselhoff was fucking terrifying. I almost tumbled back out the door down the stairs. Tiamik answered, the basement. We have a pool table, TV, laundry, all that stuff but when the lights go out, feels like you're not alone down there. Looking up 9 followed up with, I get scared by mundane stuff like this too. I can't even lie, I'm scared of the dark and I'm 22. I have anxiety so I just tell myself it's because of that. I recently started living alone for the first time in my life and every night I get worried I'm being watched and that someone will come attack me. I should probably start working on that. LOL. Eugene168 chimed in on looking up 9's follow up with. Relax, it's in our genes that we are afraid of the dark. Our ancestors were terrified of the dark because predators could kill them without them knowing. At least, that's what I tell myself. Stocked Fire chimed in as well on this reply with. My jeans are broken then jk.l. I have worked graveyard shift for the last close to 10 years now though so the dark doesn't bug me anymore. Now it's the daytime that scares me what if a neighbor from my apartment complex tries to wake me cause there's a fire and in dead asleep during the day. So when there's no response during the day they assume I'm at work or some shit. An alcoholic soulmate had more to say on this. I thought I would outgrow it, but I'm 50 and still need a nightlight. You know, I can relate to this. I am sometimes scared out of my wits whenever I roll over, and I realize Fred is right there over my bed at 3 a.m. in the morning. He is just waiting for me to wake up as he has a bunch of new content on Reddit for me to share on the channel. No matter how much I tell him it can wait till the next morning he is just so excited to let me know right away. I think he gets a kick out of it, it's some kind of, llama humor, I guess. Ink Mage 94 answered, someone at my on-campus housing for my university had one of Ron Burgundy. The terrifying thing was that people would constantly steal Ron and put him somewhere new. It was always the worst if you had a room that faced the interior courtyard, because then people would put Ron right outside your window so the first thing you saw in the middle of the night when you woke up to pee is Ron Burgundy looming over you. Narwhal Salute answered with. 
Not exactly 3 a.m. but I once woke up around half 4 a.m. once because my neighbor started mowing their lawn. There's something sinister about seeing someone mowing their lawn in the dark at 4 in the morning. 7 a.m. A bit weird. 9 a.m. Fine. 4 a.m. 100% confirmed serial killer. Impossibly me narwhal salute commented. I saw a neighbor weeding their grass and cutting it with scissors at 1.30 a.m. They were doing it by the light of their headlights. Weird AF. Few butterscotch six answer. I'm adding this to the list of reasons why I will never get pregnant. When my mom was about 8 months pregnant with my little sister I found her lying on her side on the kitchen floor at 3 am with a bunch of toothpicks and a toothbrush scrubbing the grout. When I asked her WTF, her answer was basically your reason. Baby was going crazy and it was making her crazy so she thought this activity would settle her down. The underscore awful underscore falafel answer. Flying a kite. I've done it it's kinda terrifying. You can't see the kite in the darkness all you can see is a string disappearing up into the sky and it feels like something alive is at the other end tugging on it. Bitchy houseplant answered. Children. My oldest used to come stand next to me to wake me up but for some ungodly reason, would put his blankie over his head and tap me. No. Sabrina Colada then commented. My oldest child once woke me up in the middle of the night when he was about 7 years old. He was covered in blood. It was in his hair, on his shirt. I screamed. I jumped out of bed and see the blood on the bedroom door. Straight up like a horror movie. Turns out he had a nose bleed and tried to clean it up. It was all over the bathroom too. Horrible way to wake up. Master Offsy answered. My cat that likes to sit on the power button of my CPAP machine that I need to live at night. The little bastard. So I wake up from suffocating, and I see this furry effort just looking at me like he trying to kill me. The confused composer answered. A person under a street lamp. Muchos muchos colores commented. Holy cow, you just brought back a memory. When I was about 12 or 13 I was sleeping over at my best friend's house. I woke up in the middle of the night, around 2 or 3 am, and heard what sounded like a voice through the open window. In the backyard, under a tree, was a man talking on his cell phone. Their yard was totally fenced in, so it's not like he could have wandered in by accident. He was speaking into a cell phone in a low voice. Now, when I was younger I had an anxiety fixation on being murdered, so this basically felt like my worst nightmare come true. I watched him pacing back and forth and talking for a few minutes just to make sure I wasn't imagining it. I finally woke my friend up and she looked out the window and saw him too, so she went to wake her parents. I laid down and tried to calm myself down. By the time they came back, he was gone. My friend was initially adamant that she had seen him too, but after her parents insisted it wasn't true, she agreed that it could have just been shadows. I still have no idea what the f that guy was doing. Teal Temptress answered. A helium balloon floating in an unlit hallway. I almost fought him. Dreamscard commented. So that reminds me of my experience. I was walking my dog in the dark hours before the sun had arisen. She starts doing her business, begins looking around, and all of a sudden stops mid-poop. My husky doubled in size as every fiber of fur stood on end. I look in the direction she's staring at, and it's over by the big box truck and dumpster at the opposite end of the parking lot. Probably dumpster divers or raccoons, I don't know. She doesn't get rattled often, so it was only mildly concerning. I grabbed a doggy bag and started picking up her mess, and this otherwise quiet, timid creature of mine, begins to emit a growl that would make a child cry, from some primal calling in her ancestry. 
And then I see something out of the corner of my eye move from behind a tree. This thing is slowly just going up. And going down. Right behind this giant ass tree. About the size of a human's head, peeking out, sizing me up. I grew up in Bigfoot mountains with bears and shit. I don't have many skin crawling moments in my life, but that was up there. I ready the now filled poo bag, as I will literally sling this shit in self defense, as I nudged my wannabe wolf warrior back onto the asphalt to give this tree a wide berth to go back inside. When I see the red glint, and manage to get a good enough look to see some mofo's mostly deflated happy birthday balloon caught on the mirror of the damn box truck. It was right around the release of IT Chapter 2. So it's not like seeing a balloon was super comforting either. Rap Stablook answered, ever been at sea and looked at the open ocean at night? The water is lit up by the boat but as you look farther, it's just a void. Makes you feel really small. Spot Girl answered. Your phone going off with a loved one's name on it. Throwaway246856 commented. Yeah the day my grandma died I was woken up by my granddad calling me, around 5 AM, nobody was awake and nobody answered. The call woke me up and I had the opportunity to answer, but my lazy ass thought he didn't mean to call me as he's usually up early. I missed the call and never had a chance to say goodbye or potentially do something to help. Seven months later it still makes me feel depressed and I never put my phone on silent anymore. And finally moves for life answered. My two-year-old daughter standing in the middle of the living room when the lights are off and I can only make out her silhouette. She spots me and runs towards me. Well, there you have it. A perfectly great question answered by a bunch of fine and honorable citizens. Help support this channel by smashing the like and subscribe buttons. Also hit that silly little bell too to ensure you get the latest videos. Fred is always finding stuff for me to post regularly. So this is Derek signing off, thanks for watching. Good grief, it sounds like Fred is out of his pen again. I think he found more drama for me to post for you. See you soon.